Well, a Hattiesburg man is home and slowly healing tonight. He nearly died last month in a grisly accident along Interstate 59 after a long day at work. Now the accident that nearly took his life is behind him. And Colton Rogers is offering a hopeful wish to others in this week before Christmas. We do want to warn you that a couple of his accident pictures may be tough to look at for some viewers. I knew that it was it was close, you know, that it was about that time. It was coming, but I wasn't going to just let it happen. That was for sure. A routine drive home from work turned into a near death experience for 22 year old Colton Rogers after flipping his vehicle on a highway guardrail. I knew when I was sitting in the truck that when I seen the blood flowing in between my legs and I was wearing jeans that something was wrong. I shouldn't have been bleeding that bad wearing jeans and be, me being conscious on the side of the road after getting out of the vehicle and everybody talking to me, it, it all kind of became clear. Rogers' leg was stuck as his co-workers who were riding with him were able to climb out of the car, but he was pinned, heavily bleeding, and hoping for a miracle. And shortly after, a miracle arrived. I pulled over to see um, if there's anything I could do to help, and then that's when I saw Colton, you know, kind of trapped you know, within the vehicle. And instantly, Sergeant First Class Corey Engard knew he had to do something quickly or the accident would have been fatal for Rogers. Two other civilians actually helped kind of break out the window and uh, cut a seatbelt to get him to um, come out of the vehicle. Um, however, when he fell out of the vehicle, that's when I saw that his left leg was like completely severed off. Um, took off my belt and like cinched it around his thighs, you know, as hard as I could. And guards quick thinking and initiative allowed for Rogers to be medevaced to Anderson Regional Medical Center's critical care unit in Meridian, where he spent three days on life support. He lost four pints of blood, but after already being released from rehab, he's on track for a quick recovery and his eyes are set on the future. Well, I, when I had both of my legs, I would have said one step at a time, but now I'm saying one hop at a time. <laughs> uh, on, we, uh, we're we definitely gonna take this journey very slowly and we're not gonna overdo it. And both Engard and Rogers have advice for those that come across a situation like theirs. If you ever get the opportunity to help somebody, you know, don't just drive by. Don't beat yourself up missing the old you and, you know, try to create your new life with the new you and build the new you and it's all in your hands from there. In Hattiesburg, Ellie Davis, WDAM7 on your side. Well, Roger says that his recovery process is moving along quickly. Him, his mother and Edgar are planning a holiday dinner together as they look forward to what's next.